Can this new kart racer compete with Mario Kart? Honestly, all cards are on the table because Multiverses destroyed my expectations and it's better than Smash Bros in my opinion so I don't want to underestimate this Kart Riders Drift game and the fact that it's free to play on all platforms and it's cross platform just has me excited and I hope that it does well. So my first impressions were like eh I don't really like the drifting but it feels like timing matters a little bit more in this game so it's just something I'm gonna have to get used to. And if you're someone who's having trouble with that, there's a drift assist option that gives you guidelines for when you should begin and end the drift. And it doesn't actually like affect your controls or anything, it's just something that's visible on the road for you to see. And you know, you can turn it off if you don't want to use it. And right out of the gate, they allow you to play solos, duos, and quads. Now here's one thing, I didn't know that there were previous Kart Rider games in the first place. So, you know, they have experience making this kind of game, obviously. The maps that are in this, some of them probably came from the first game, or however many games there were before this one. It seems like there is a lot of maps, so I don't think that anyone is really going to get bored of this game anytime soon after it releases. There's, our, there's normal stuff like the Battle Pass, there's a premium and a normal version along with the items mode, which is just basically regular Mario Kart. And then there's a speed mode, which I didn't get to unlock during the playtest. I believe it's the no item mode. You know, the mode for the true racers to test out their map knowledge and drifting skills against other people. And then of course, the game also has time trials and customs. But then there's a thing called licenses. And this is actually kind of interesting. I think it's a decently important part because in order to unlock the uh, harder tracks, you gotta complete the license challenges where you have the opportunity to get one, two, or three stars based on how well you perform, and you have to collect a specific amount of stars to complete each license. So as an example, the first license takes 33 stars to complete. And by harder tracks, I'm hoping that it also increases the speed because I'm used to playing 150 and sometimes 200 when I'm playing Mario Kart with a fam. It just seems a little bit too slow. Now, I don't know if they are giving us extra coins just because it was a play test and they wanted us to you know, try some stuff out. But if not, it feels like it's a little bit too easy to, to earn a lot of the Lucy. I don't know if it's actually pronounced like this. It's L-U-C-C-I, but I'm just gonna call it Lucy. But yeah, I feel like they made it a little bit too easy to earn the Lucy, which is one of the two forms of currency. The other is K-Coins, and that's a lot harder to come by. Now, the reason I say this is because the Lucy is used to upgrade your cart. I was wondering why none of the carts had different stats. They, all, they were all the same, but when a cart is upgraded, it goes up a tier, and there's five of them. Common, Fine, Rare, Heroic, and Legendary. And once upgraded, you can delegate the gears they give you to make the cart how you want it. So instead of having to choose a cart that has stats set in stone, you can make it how you want it. And the thing that kind of balances the Lucy out, I believe, when it comes to upgrading to the next tier, is that you have a 50-50 chance of the upgrade actually going through. And if the upgrade fails, you don't get these coins back. Also, another thing I noticed is there's no inward or outward drift. There's just one drift for all, and you kind of just have more control over it. Uh, but the last thing I wanted to mention is the customization. Honestly, it's already off to a good start. You can change the boost, license plates, and the wheels. You can even create your own decals. You don't see that all the time in a game like this. Now, I think it'd be cool if they kind of copied Rocket League and even let you add an antenna or even change the sound of your engine. But other than that, it feels like it's already a complete game. It already has so much potential. I hope it gains a huge following and maybe even becomes an eSport because I feel like games like this should just be cross-platform. Games like Mario Kart or games like Smash Bros. Those are the perfect kind of games to be on all platforms because they're fun fun party games that you can play with your friends. But have you played the previous Kart Rider game? Or are you like me and only heard about this one? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you're a bot, it's time for you to drift out of my game. <laughs>